Good day, everyone. Our research entitled Sexual Behavior Comparison of Sexual Offenders and Male Students. This research was written by Akat Quinijoy, Balanki Marjorie, Kamungaw Cesar, Deluta Samle, Gayaden Laika Shane, and Tinong Jan from the Forensic Science Department of the University of the Cordilleras. Before a person to be considered as a sex offender, that person should be legally convicted as a result of his overt act and it was committed by his own immediate sexual gratification. Sexual offenders have different characteristics and personalities, also have different motivations on committing the op offense. In today's society, the number of reported rape cases has significantly increased in 2020. The Philippine Statistic Authority had obtained 2,162 rape cases, which is 30.6% higher than the cases reported in 2018 from the Philippine National Police. Statistically, sexual abuse cases continue to remain high with one woman or child raped every one hour and 12 minutes. Furthermore, due to the government measurement of social distancing and lockdown taken to prevent the spread of COVID-19, there is a high concern of domestic violence, including sexual abuse, have increased. In fact, as compared to other heinous crimes, there is a higher occurrence of rape reported, particularly in the province of Benguet. The Provincial Social Welfare Development Office had recorded 23 rape cases, 21 incest rapes between January to July of 2020. Given the alarming statistics, we, the researchers, have taken this into account and agreed to come together and to have a better understanding with regards to sexual behaviors, specifically of sexual offenders and non-offenders in our community, and to see whether or not they have significant differences. We chose to study this topic in order to not only assist the law enforcement agencies in the further understanding the difference of sexual behaviors of the sexual offenders and non-offenders, but also the community as a whole. Therefore, as the researchers work on four different scales to measure sexual behavior, these are the Wilson Sex Fantasy Questionnaire, the Motivation for Sex and Risky Behavior Scale, the Revised Hostility Towards Women Scale, and the Arizona Sexual Experience. We conducted these surveys on 57 respondents from the Bureau of Jail Management Penology of Baguio City and Benguet Provincial Jail of Latinidad, Benguet. Along with that, we have also collected responses from 67 male college students from the University of the Cordilleras. Now, why that specific population? According to the National Sexual Violence Center, for every five women, one is sexually assaulted while in college, and that 63.3% of men who attended one university admitted to committing repeated acts that qualify as rape. Males also tend to hold more liberal attitudes toward high-risk sex behaviors than of females. After receiving the necessary data, we have compared and analyzed the responses from both groups. Our goal was to explore the sexual behavior of sex offenders and non-offenders, focusing on their sexual motivations, sexual fantasies, sexual dysfunction, and hostility towards women as predictors of carrying out sexual offense. The findings we were able to obtain was that the first is the social approval is the major motivation of both groups. Second is that there is no seen abnormalities in both groups' sexual fantasies. And third, it is inclined that sex offenders have lower sexual aggression towards women than of male college students. And lastly is that the sexual behavior of sex offenders and male college students are remarkably similar, which turns away from our original hypothesis that there is a significant difference in the sexual behavior of the two groups.
Overall, after we conducted the research, we have talked about the limitations of our research as well as our recommendation for future ones. We, the researchers, recommend that for future researchers to not limit studying on the four categories mentioned earlier. It is also best to consider sexual cultures in both groups and to obtain questionnaires that are appropriate to the country, tribe, or region where the research is conducted. We also, we also recommend that this study to be replicated and let the tools at least twice to yield more accurate results. And lastly, we recommend that future research should keep, should seek to use more multiple approaches in the research, such as combination of interviews, observation, and studies of document analysis. Thank you.